Howdy, y'all. It's toy show number 59. Toy show, toy show. Toy show. It's time for the toy show. We got a great show for you tonight, folks. Great show, great show. We got some fig news. We got some top tens. And we got all other kinds of shenanigans here at the Toy Show. Your number one show on YouTube. Just in case you forgot. Number one. Marty Mansions in the chat. What's going on, broski? What's up? Everybody already here. Listen, give it up in the chat. Make sure let everybody know you're here so you smash that like. Smash that like. Let everybody know you up in here. So holla at your boys. Like I said... We got a great show. We're going to get started with, as always, your number one source for news and information. Give it up for young Vincenzo with some big news. <laughs> yo, yo, What's yo. What's going on, Patricia, in the chat? Hey, dudes, please pick up the pace. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, damn, what, we, we moving. What? <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you not just hear me say fig news? We there. Okay. Yeah. Vincenzo, you ready? Yes, I am definitely ready. Boy, howdy. We have. I think I lost Vinny in the audio department. Can y'all hear him? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Son of a bitch. You gotta leave him okay. back. Okay, so here we go. We got we have quite a number of fig news. God damn First it. First, because I know everybody is, is going to bring it up at some point, SH Figure Arts revealed their first uh, batch of Avengers Endgame figures, one of them being the armored version of Thanos. Okay, now I hear Vinny. Nope. Good. Is, that the, is that the Figure Arts? Yeah, yes, this is the SH Figure Arts. That's not bad. I don't, I mean. Uh, I'll say one thing like, the face looks a little weird. Oh, really? Oh, no. That's better. That's better now. <laughs> because I was about to say, it looks the same as the previous uh, figure arts. Yeah, that's just the angle. Ah. Gojira in the chat. What's going on? Nice to see you again, Mr. Gojira. Uh, I'm happy that, that the stat Thanos is happening because I did not want to be, be, be stuck with what the Marvel Legends want, to be honest, even though that looks leagues better than the Infinity War build a figure Thanos. So, also, Slight change for the previous Thanos. Uh, the gold uh, is more of a bronze uh, than it is a gold color, so you'll be happy to, to see that. Is, is that uh, more accurate? Yeah, I, I think it is more accurate, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter the price. It's sold out. Oh. That was quick. Tough uh, break. Tough break. There's always FUBU. Uh, next up is the FH Figure Arts uh, Avengers Endgame Black Widow. Which looks just as good, if not better, than, than the Infinity War Blood Black Widow, in my personal opinion. Side note, real quick, since we on Black Widow, um, sure. does anybody watch this show on YouTube called Hot Ones? No. No. Okay. It's a show where people eat hot wings. I only say this because they had Scarlett Johansson on it. And mm. it it's worth a watch. Just All right, saying. Okay. I'm just saying. The figure looks fantastic. I'm slightly concerned about that about the ponytail because I think it may hinder some articulation. So hopefully that's not the case. Um, the, however, again, the price for this figure does not matter because it's sold out. Yes, it, yes, it's sold out. <laughs> God damn. Uh, Next up is the SH Figure Arts Endgame Ant-Man, which I got really irritated to see. Because what this is pretty much the same exact figure as the Ant-Man and the Wasp Ant-Man, except this one has the Paul Rudd head. If but I could, he's not, he don't got derp face, so I'll give him that. Uh, no derp face. Also, another detail they added is Paul Rudd's eyes through through the lenses. You can just barely see it. No, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Is, it so, is, is, is he sold out too? Yes, he is sold out. He is sold out, Patricia. He is sold out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quick question: Are all the figure arts Avengers just sold out? 
uh, I, I haven't checked on, on other sites, but for the most part, yeah, most of them are, are just sold out within minutes. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was only lucky enough to 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 get all of them granted from three different fucking sites. <laughs> uh, this is, wait a second. Um, try, like I know Barnes and Nobles always carry like the figure arts figures, but I don't know what kind of volume they have of. Do they carry all of them or just certain ones? Because I know they sold the Doctor Strange one. They have the Black Panther. They had the Spider Man for a while. Yeah, I don't know, Strange. like I don't know how like vast of do they do the Marvel yeah. figure art figures? Like, could you order it from them? Okay. Uh -huh. okay, um, you're probably not gonna find them from Barnes and Noble because these Avengers Endgame figures are only exclusive to Japan. They're not getting a, a North American release. Mm, okay. So. Yeah. Which is another reason why they sold out so fast because that means limited limited quantities. So, uh, moving on, we also are getting the SH Figure Arts Avengers and Game Captain. You mean, America. you mean me not getting it because it's sold out? <laughs> well, 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 I'm getting it. I haven't pre ordered, but, but yeah, no one else is. Well, nobody else but Vinny's getting his. <laughs> uh, I, I'm doing it. You rest of y'all's asked out. Uh, yeah, from pretty much the, this figure. <laughs> this figure, uh, aside from having a, a, a um, more sculpted details, looks eerily si similar to the uh, Civil War version of, Ca of Captain America, which was already a, a pretty good figure. But this figure, again, looks pretty good. Not so sure about the face likeness. That's not really Chris Evans. <laughs> Kind of, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a bit better on the final product, but we'll have to wait and wait and see. Also, I hate it that they gave him a looking off to the side head. We should have gotten a teeth gritted or or yelling screaming head because that would have been a lot better. <laughs> Next up for SDG Figure Arts, we will be getting Ronin. Let me guess, he sold out. Yes, he sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Is it? I am I the only one, one that's just kind of just out sold out? All these like Avengers figures. Huh? Sold out. Hey, listen, I just see people dropping pics of those fucking X Men wave. That's what I'm trying to get my hands on right now. Uh, 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 <laughs> I have that X Men wave pre ordered. There's no way I'm missing. Um. Yes, Patricia. We did see the trailer for Star Wars and. The Godzilla King of the Monster TV spot. I don't know if any saw that. Yeah, uh -huh. we, we, yes, we are going to talk oh, about it. Oh, Doc is back in the chat. What's going on? Doc ah, is back hello. in action. He says, what's going on, Doc? It's been a Doc. minute since we've seen you. Doc, how you doing? What up? What's up? So, Welcome well. to the toy show. But yeah, I'm. <clears throat> as far as Star Wars is concerned, it, it's good. I mean, it looks decent. I mean, it can't be any worse than what, what they did last. So it is what it is. Like I said before, I reserve judgment to when I see it. Yeah. Do I plan on seeing it in theaters? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Um, like, I've always been a Star Wars fan. I'm not a Star Wars head. Like, I'm all for being a Jedi and shit. I'm doing funky mind tricks and shooting lightnings at my figures and being a badass with a lightsaber. But that's as far as it goes. <laughs> but, uh, so when I say I'm excited, Patricia, no, I say I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Because like I said, Star Wars has been going through a change and however you want to look at it or perceive it and whatever whatever lens you want to look at it through everybody's seeing star wars nowadays for many different reasons i just want to see it to be entertained so i don't know how the rest of these guys feel about it but that's how i feel so man we really should have gotten um ad <clears throat> on the show i wonder what he thinks about it he's our star wars guru yeah ad would have loved it uh yeah. Well, I have to go to the hospital next week for 10 days or so, but never the collection. Why are you going to the hospital, Doc? You all right, bro? All right. So 
Yeah. Back, back to Fig News. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. so Ronan uh, looks pretty good. Sold out. Next up is uh, Iron Man, the third Mark 50. Oh, my God. I'm so surprised that it's sold out. Sold out. Sold, sold out. out. Well, what a shocker. And, and mind you, this is the third Mark 50 fi figure. The, the first one was regular one with some of the weapons. The second one was with the, the nanotech weapons. This one has more nanotech weapons, I think. I'm not sure. Wait, so is this Infinity War or is this Endgame? Uh, this is technically a Endgame. Oh, yeah, because uh, it will happen uh, in the beginning. Yeah, but this is you know the, the same figure as the Infinity War from Mark Fifty. Yeah, because the new one's the Mark Eighty or something, right? Eighty five. Mark Eighty five. Mark Eighty five. Wow, oh, shit, that's a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually, Jimmy, you, actually, Jimmy. Speaking of, here's the Iron Man figure arts Mark Eighty five. Where'd the other thirty suits go? I have no idea. Oh, it's confusing. Uh, I don't like that suit. What really? iPhone X? It, it, it's not, it's not hidden for me. No, I I agree. I'm honestly not a big fan of all the recent Iron Man suits. Yeah, like, nano tech thing. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of not feeling that one either. I'm just not the biggest yeah, Iron Man fan, even though I like Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> this is how it is. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm not I'm not even like just the suit. Like the suit to I me mean, yeah, seems. Like, yeah, suit, this up. looks meh. Like, uh, like I've seen, see, I've I've seen better Iron Man suits. Okay, okay. this one just looks like they could have tried. Right. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of like. Listen to me, and maybe this is maybe not a popular choice, but the best looking one from MCU for me is just that that original one from the first movie when he got it clean and polished. That was the best look at Iron Man to me personally. No, in live action okay. form. My, the Mark III is my favorite too. Like I think I think that was the best looking live action looking Iron Man suit. I mean, sure, yes, he has streamlined it, but even then when it was a little bit kind of clunky, it still looked fucking badass. No, like what I think they should have been doing with Iron Man recently is just Take a page out of War Machine's book because he just gets cooler and cooler. Yeah, he's getting more shit. He's all clunky. Anyway, yeah. anyway, the Mark eighty five, it does its job, and like I said, Patricia says she likes the gold shoulder pads and the gold legs, like in the <laughs> comics. I mean, it, it, it's it's not for everybody. Some people like it. That's cool. I'm to me, I'm just I. Uh, all right, here's something I'm pretty sure Jimmy would like to talk about: the Hot Toys Avengers Endgame figures. For, for first up, we have we, we have Hot Guy or Ronan. That price is oh what? How, yeah, how much was that price? Because you really passed that quick. Uh, 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 I usually pass it by by quick uh, uh, because uh, I want to save it for last. But the price is two. Uh, yeah, but the price is two hundred and forty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Fuck that noise. <laughs> no thanks don't mind me i'ma just grab my stuff and leave excuse me please fuck this shit i'm out mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. all right then i don't know what the fuck just happened i don't really care i'm gonna get the fuck up out of here fuck this shit i'm out yeah, you're fired, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vin Rock over here. <laughs> Excuse me. You get that copyright me. strike just for cursing. <laughs> yeah, we got man strike. Yo, smash that like for the for for Vinny dropping them bars. <laughs> smash that like for the bars. Pray for my man Vinny. Patricia says she loves the Mark Five. I like the one from the Avengers. Mister yeah, V Mark was Five. good in the hood, son. <laughs> Okay, so, 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 so you have Hawkeye. He, he, he looks, uh, he looks pretty sweet. Uh, well, obviously, any hot toy can can look for, uh, pretty banging. Um, I, I'm sure Jimmy ha has a couple things he'd like to say. Uh, do you? Um, they, they look cool, but I kind of moved on from hot toys. Like I get one occasionally. Um, ah, I see. I, I, I stick to eBay because the prices are just way more insane than like old days. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> anyway, Hawkeye's price, two forty-two ninety-nine. 
and it comes out in the, se- in the second quarter of 2020. <laughs> Next up, uh, uh, we have the Avengers Endgame Hot Toys Thanos. Fuck all that. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about that price. <laughs> He's still cheaper than a prom, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's still cheaper than a prime though, but not, not by much. Like the premium on this is crazy. Yeah, this is a yes for figure again. Like, like it looks really good. It does its job, but maybe a bit too pricey for everyone's liking. Yeah, like, like I said, man, Hot Toys in the last few years is. The, 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 yeah, they've been getting ridiculous so for what I've been saying. Like, all the Hot Toy stuff I owned are from years, years, years ago when at least they were, like, affordable. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, for that price that I just saw, you can get a you can get a statue of Thanos. It's way cheaper. Damn. A so, good-looking statue of that. Not just no, uh-huh. like, crappy gallery, you know, art gallery freaking statue. Yeah. Some legit. Anyway... Uh, uh, I got Smith. a question <clears throat> though. Do they yeah. price them like this? Because do they think like they're gonna go up in value? I mean, I would like to assume so, but I'm not sure. I mean, like, can I'm you figure sure. with all the detail that they give to these figures? You, there'd be some people out there that buy these thinking like you know, in good condition, these can go up in some price, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I bet you this Thanos will eventually go up in price just because it's the only armored version that's available. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But, you know, but, <clears throat> but I'm saying, like, Hot Toys knows this. So, they're like, we could charge you $414, $15 for this. Yep. No, that's their plan. That's why we're going to have, like, that's why we have, like, a fucking $500 regular Iron Man. Crazy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Next up for Hot Toys, uh, Iron Man. And he's still cheaper than Prime. Not by much, though. He's, he's up there. Not by much, but but still cheaper. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you could not tell by the look of the suits, this is the Mark 85 or, the version of Iron Man. Uh, the... But eh. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing about Hot Toys regarding like the Iron Man stuff. I have one one fourth scale Iron Man that I've had on pre order for literally years, like literally, and it's yeah. only, it's one fourth scale, and it's only like a hundred bucks more than this, little more than a hundred. Really? That's how expensive these six scale Iron Mans are. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, but uh, for people who only collect Hot Toys Iron Man, I guess it's different, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but also, the, the, these are not even all the accessories. Our digital ones are apparently coming through. So let's stay tuned up for that. And we're, and we're not done with Hot Toys. Uh, here's the Avengers Endgame Nebula. Hmm. Not I can bad. tell you, she's gonna go up in value. <laughs> Nebula. Nebula. Quick, uh, Derek. Yeah. Best best sandwiches in the South. <laughs> yes, Publix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean right now, bro. <laughs> Oh, nah, bro, don't even tip me, man. You're gonna make me want to go out and go get one, even though it's too late. <laughs> Breaking the public, just go get a sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, like I said, Hot Toys, it, it, it's the it's doing your job. It looks pretty cool, but uh, not my thing, and probably might not be anyone else's thing here. You got that war machine. Uh, yeah, I have a war machine here yeah. coming up, but, but, but not without showing a display uh, of uh, so, uh, some of these guys. 
Uh, Captain Marvel, no, which she has the incorrect suit. I don't know why. Nebula, Captain America, uh, Ant Man, and Rocket Raccoon. And, and once again, I have I have absolutely no idea why Captain Marvel has her incorrect suit. You, you know, that. I heard you. I heard you, Patricia. Patricia wanted to know something about. Uh, are they making Resident Two, Resident Evil figures, two figures? Not, not that I think. You know that tiny little rocket raccoon right there? Yeah. Yeah. Guess how much he is? Three hundred dollars. Close. Two thirty. That's so insane. Oh. <laughs> oh my chest! My chest! Oh god! Yeah. Oh. Oh, this rocket raccoon. It's like, it's so, ugh. Just what the fuck? Here's Captain Marvel, just in case anyone's curious. Once again, it's not my thing because, well, hot toys. Expensive. Oh, no. I read it wrong. She's saying, son, uh, damn, damn toys. And some other companies making Resident Evil. Uh, I'm sorry, Patricia. Yeah, I read it wrong because I was eating my sandwich. Here, here is Captain America. Uh, his shield uh, is is dirty. I uh, don't know why. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Uh, so that's a possible spoiler. Uh, thanks, guys. Hmm. Uh, moving on. Obviously, we have War Machine. That looks cool. Yeah. If, if I was if I was gonna buy like any one of these, It'd or, be like, let's say, yeah, it would be War Machine. Yeah, that looks badass. Like I said, man, his suits just get cooler. I always like War Machine's armor better than Iron Man, anyway. Yeah, me too. I'm always fifty fifty with Iron Man and War Machine. I, I like both both their armors about the same, but but this War Machine is, is really cool. Nah, I'm, his was Iron Man with extra guns. Yeah, yeah. Was, and you see him, I so you know he's not fucking around, and he just looked pimp. Yeah, like Iron Man always looked like cool, but like to me, like War Machine always just looked like a looked like a fucking band. Yeah, for real. How much? Uh, are what? How, do you know how much this one is? I do not know, because so far War Machine has not went up for up for pre order. Uh, 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 also, uh, also, here's uh, the Hawkeye Haw with the the the, the Ronin gear. Right, uh, so there's that. Uh, and uh, and just one more look at, at the Avengers Endgame figures. Here's Mark eighty five. Here's Captain America. Here's Thanos. Here's Captain Marvel. Which again, I said that's not the correct suit for Avengers Endgame. Ronin. War Machine, and of course, uh, sorry, we can have a closer look. Here's the end game, Ant Man. Um, apparently, with that Hawkeye, you have to buy the deluxe version to make Ronan. What? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I, I saw that yesterday. What? What a heap of bullshit! All right. <laughs> what a heap of bullshit! That is stupid. Yeah. Ugh. That is so stupid. Okay, so okay, so moving on before uh, before uh, I have a heart attack from from, from that. Um, uh, the, uh, McFarlane Toys has put the Doom Slayer up for pre order. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah, that yeah. Cool. Um, I'm not sure. If it's a stock. I'm not sure if this is a stock image or or, or the figure itself, but either way, it looks uh, pretty cool. Yeah, that doesn't look. I don't. That doesn't look like a figure. It looks like a 3D render. Yeah, almost. So anyway, uh, he's coming out September 2019. And speaking of McFarlane toys, they put the Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Sub Zero and Scorpion up for pre-order. No actual looks at, at the figures. So only the 3D renders to show them which the, the designs uh, they're using. I trust McFarlane, man. They don't mess up. Yeah. This uh, so should be pretty cool. <laughs> Next up for for you Netherworld fans, uh, Deku. I uh, I'm not sure if we already went over this, but 
But that's for my hero academia. We'll we'll, we'll be getting his own Nendoroid. Class Audrey. This. <laughs> And uh, uh, it comes, comes with a crying face, a little comic smash face, uh, uh, flame effect. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, now, Shoto to 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 will also be getting his Nendoroid. Uh, he is the character from My Hero Academia, has the powers of fire and ice. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so, and lastly, we do have Bakugo. <sighs> I still don't think I can these. These are dope, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, hey, if if you're a fan of My Hero Academia, the, 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 the these are uh, these figures would fit right in. Nah. Next up is a Ben Presto All Might statue again from My Hero Academia. That's dope. We got a special guest coming on, folks. Oh, do we? Who we got? We got Mr. Doc. Oh, Doc, all over the shoulder. Uh, okay, real quick, uh, in the chat, Patricia says, seriously, look up Resident Evil 2 remake figures. We'll get on that. Uh, Mr. V yeah, let's says, just, uh, let's I just, just, get through, like, I just say his, his CPU looks like it's running slow. And Patricia again says, when Dom Doom Eternal coming out, it's taking forever. I don't know what that is, but it's taking forever, Patricia says. Hmm. Well, 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 right now, I, I, I have no, no idea when that's coming out. Also, I am looking on my phone right now. I'm not finding uh, anything for, for Resident Evil 2 remake fi uh, figures. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, it's confirmed that, 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 they, are, that, that they are coming. Uh, uh, it's confirmed that they are coming, but, uh, but we don't have any official images. Look here, Patricia. When we find out, you'll find out because we are the number one show here. We will give it to you first. And we'll give it to you real. Yeah. Raw, okay, because that's what we do here. Pause, yeah. pause, and pause on that first, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, we got you. Next up from <laughs> from Haya Toys, in, 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 we will be getting a Justice Two Green Lantern and a Justice Two Dark Side. Don't get too what excited. A... This is one eighteenth scale, meaning that they are only. Uh, uh, three point seventy-five in inches tall. And it's still only twenty dollars. Yeah. Hard pass. Oh, son of a bitch. I went for storm collectibles. Uh, thank you very much. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, next up, from uh, Mezco. Because how can we not talk to Mezco? Is the Mezco? 2019 movie Hellboy, which I've heard interesting things about. Oh, Mr. V, you know, spaghetti is always, always gonna be spaghetti. But Hell yeah. sometimes, sometimes oh. you gotta, sometimes you gotta take it. Sometimes you gotta take it easy from spaghetti. You gotta, you gotta remember why you love spaghetti. So every now and then, your boy can't always eat spaghetti. But that's why you gotta guess what I'm eating. So. And get that nothing prize, everybody wins. See how that works? Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, anyway, for, for for those that uh, for those that are looking forward to the movie, then I guess this figure is definitely for you. I mean, if if they would make a comic accurate Hellboy, I, I I'd go for it. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the face. Yeah. Like, uh, it kind of looks like a red ape's face. He got ape face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't blame you for thinking that. Also, uh, oh, never mind. It's only eighty bucks. The standard price for Mesco. I, I thought it was ninety for a second. I could pass. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. yeah. Next up, every something everybody wanted to see. The, Hell the, yeah, Wolverine. 
on it. <coughs> Definitely picking that up. Cause that looks like the shit you I know I know Jimmy, I know you copping that. Yeah, I plan to pick it up. Yeah. And it's got three different sets of claws. Yeah. Yes, that's three different sets. That is pimp. The, 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 all those blades. The, this, uh, the, this figure looks freaking great. And I think I just got blades from, from just looking at these amazing promo shots. <laughs> Trust me, you'll know when you got blades. Yeah, you know when you get blades. Trust me, Vinny, you'll know. Okay. You'll uh, know when you get blades. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you for the warning. <laughs> Not when you get blades, when blades got you. <laughs> you, 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 so, you don't listen, you don't get blades. It gets you. Blades gets you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so uh, the, this figure will be releasing in September 2019 and is the price of $90. Yeah, I gotta get that. That's definitely one of those because like I said, I got the set, I got the Spider-Man and the Iron Man. Uh, I still got to pick up the Deadpool. They got a Deadpool and a Captain America. But I want that Wolverine first, though. Yeah, well, no, because this Wolverine figure looks flipping great. It, it looks fantastic. You know, uh, for the Dark Knight side of things, Soap Studio will will be giving us a Dark Knight Two-Face uh, action figure. Just like Mezco, Soap Studio uses the cloth clothing. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It looks... Kind of robot chickeny. Yeah, yeah. I had the same thoughts myself. Like, don't get me wrong. If anybody likes to figure, that's that's cool. But me and everybody else, we just got too much of a robot chicken vibe from it. It it just does. I got this is the first time I've seen this, and it looks like some robot chicken type shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. I mean, a little bit stepped up, a little bit more. Like, it looks good. <clears throat> but just how the suit, how like the body of the figure kind of swims in the suit, it looks very robot chickeny. Like it's ready to be animated and yeah. do some kind of funny skit, <laughs> do some stupid shit, and make me laugh right now. So uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Now, next up, uh, next up is a. Pop culture shock statue, uh, uh, which has Sakura in her gym uniform from Street Let Fight. the pigeons loose. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, before you do anything, before you do, before you do, Shit. For the wrongdoing. Let, <laughs> let the pigeons loose, Matt. Let the pigeons yes. loose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see if you watch now. See if you watch clickbait, you would know what that means. See, that's why you gotta watch clickbait. Excuse me, I need to use the bathroom for unrelated reasons. <laughs> Damn, boy. Next, uh, no, next up is the second version of the statue with her regular Street Fighter clothes. Hey, if you're into that, hey, go for it. <laughs> Look at those quads. Look at those <laughs> Fucking five, kid. Crush your fucking skull. For real. Uh, okay, so kick your kick your face uh, off. The statues are expensive. Both of them, both of them are expensive as shit. So oh, don't. Is your who's your brother? Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that me? Jesus Christ. Uh, no, okay. How big are they? I don't. I don't get it. The uh, they are sixteen point fifty in inches, forty two centimeters tall. Uh, that's not for five hundred. Not for five hundred. Definitely not. That's crazy. Gives me like yeah. I need a shot of insulin after seeing this shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy, do you uh, want my insulin? Uh, I have it on me. <coughs> yeah, and G Chris in the chat. What is going on? We got a lot of people in the chat, man. Everybody appreciate y'all for coming. Smash well, that like. Sir, 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 guys, that, that, that means a lot. It's awesome to see you all here. Uh, uh, next, next up for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, um, uh, Fugo Stand, a Purple Haze, finally went up for uh, for pre-order. Sick. Oh, yeah, yep. Mr. V Mister V wanted you to know, Jimmy, take that lotion, kid. Now do it dry. <laughs> 
my, dog. My, my, in my opinion, the, this figure looks superb. No, the, looks just like a, how, how he does in the anime. Comes with some cool accessories. Like I said, super action statue. Um, you know, Medicos uh, knows what they're doing with this shit. So, hey, that's awesome. Now, next up uh, is the bloody version of Baraka, which is exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store. Nice. Mm, I kind of like that one, actually. Yeah, but question. I thought Baraka's blood was red, not yeah. not green. Not green. Maybe someone else's blood. It's Maybe. A fucking alien. I want to say that this is reptile's blood because what? Because this version comes with an exclusive accessory. What's that? Green, green blood effects. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, maybe. I swear that, that that's meant to belong to reptile. Hashtag Street Fighter Six. Uh -huh. Yep. Hashtag okay. <laughs> Just drop uh, it. That, that's what's in the chat. That's what. Yeah. Wanted to drop yeah. a hashtag Street Fighter Six. Ha ha hashtag Street Fighter Six. Anyway, yes. this Braca looks pretty sick. Uh, looks awesome. But however, not as awesome as this news right here. For those that missed out on the Mayfax comic book version of Spider Man, he is getting re released. Oh, nice. like Gojira says it's reptile blood. Uh, yeah, I would think it's reptile blood. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, kids, yeah, I think that's reptile blood. For those that, 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 missed, uh, that missed this the first time around, you now have your chance. And before you ask, I'm not suggesting to buy it from Big Bad Toy Store because you, you can actually get, uh, get it cheaper off of uh, Ami Ami. Mm. How much on Ami Ami? Uh, 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 it, it, it's definitely less uh, than $95. Uh, that's for sure. How much is shipping now? Uh, yep. it, it depends on on, on the, the the shipping you choose. Sometimes it can range from uh, five to to, to twenty five dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so, so wherever you want to order doesn't matter. But this figure is getting reissued. People uh, are super happy, and uh, 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 and hey, why not? Uh, you have a right to be. Next up is some Transformers news. Um, I'm not sure if this is new, but but but, but I saw this uh, or, or around the radar. Yeah, that's something new. Uh, I don't, honestly, don't know what it is. It's, I think it's something from Japan. <clears throat> something, just another prime. They actually, it ain't even. It's it's the last prime that we got that was decent, and they remolded some bits. It's it's odd. This looks like a very well. Go to, it should be on T. Go if you go to TF Source, the full name will be on there. To uh, TF Source. Yeah. The, uh, then the bots go go to the F source. The F source. There, there we go. Mm -hmm. you, uh, I, I know what you, you see. Uh, I mean, I, I'm an idiot because I had no idea the TF source even had it from. Uh, <laughs> we are. Okay. okay, so for the first one of this, Transformers. Yes. Generations selects Star Convoy exclusive. Yeah, I um, I know I do not know where he comes from. He has a prime. It's okay, but I'm not really feeling it that much, so I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass on this prime. Honestly, uh, I was <clears throat> not even sure how, how how to feel about the prime because he looks like. <clears throat> Over exaggerated. So, so yeah, there's that. This might be new, or maybe not. But, 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 but this figure is is up a pre-order. The SG31 Transformers Siege Red Alert. Oh yeah, yeah, that's 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 a new <laughs> one. Yeah, it ain't out yet. I mean, it's a repaint of uh, Sideswipe, but still, it's Red Alert. Yeah. Uh, 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 looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And next up is the SG32 Transformer Siege Autobot Springer. Ooh. Yeah, that's a pretty good one too. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. It look good. Looks uh pretty cool. And um, I hope I'm not, I'm not missing anything, but if I'm correct, that should be it. Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for, for uh, fake news. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so pretty cool. Uh, we had a, be a beefy uh, show. Uh, no, beefy fig news. Excuse me. <laughs> not show. <laughs> the, the show's so, not so, show yet. Yet, then. Yeah, I know. I know. The show's um, I know that a couple of us have a lot of pickups. If you want to go through that next. Sure. Yeah, let's do pickups. We can do pickups and then we'll do uh, top ten. Ow. Who wants to go first? <coughs> uh, 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 I, will, I will go first. Just, just let me clean up all, all, all my shit. And there you go. Okay. Uh, I will go first. Just, uh... Okay. For okay. So for for packages that have arrived, first of the batch is SH Figure Arts Captain Marvel. Uh -huh. Obviously from the movie Captain Marvel. This figure is actually pretty damn good, and a lot of people um, tried to make it look bad just because they don't like a uh, shit Brie Larson said. How's that ass look? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but the ass is... Well... <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. We got a problem. It's anatomically correct. <laughs> uh, 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 not even Tamashi could, uh, could save Larson. Next up for Figart is the great Sayaman, which looks flipping great. Nice. The, 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 this is such a dope figure. It comes with tons of alternate heads. The alternate arm piece uh, that doesn't have the watch. Um, uh, it comes with a piece to block off the hole if you don't want the cape attached. And the cape is actually not is not bad. It's a plastic cape, but it's actually something I'm completely down with. The, That's the, nice. You know, the, and this figure poses or, or, poses or really well, too. Uh, but, uh, it, it, looks, it looks flipping fantastic. It looks incredible. Uh -huh, I, I love it. Uh, yeah, if you don't have it, pick that up if I see it. Yeah, uh, definitely pick it up if you see it. Uh, it is a, a great release. Now, um, oh, that's in here. Because I doubt, I doubt figure eyes would make a model of him. I'd be surprised if they did. Uh, I'd be surprised too. Now, um, a few days ago, um, hmm. it did not get to show us off because obviously we did not have any fake news last week. But um, uh, uh, I got to pick up the Neca Spyro from Spyro Reignited uh, tr tr Trilogy. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, yo, can y'all? Is Doc talking? Yeah. Uh, Doc. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I can't. I can't hear him. Why? He hasn't really been saying much anyway, but no, Google's been acting up like people can't hear each other. <laughs> Next up are two of my uh, fa favorite alien figures so far. We got the Neca Scorpion uh, alien. <laughs> this figure right here, this figure. Uh, uh, great, uh, an awesome fi uh, figure. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, another figure I love is the Neca Snake Alien. I ironically opened all three of that of those figures in that wave while we were doing fig news. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, once again, the Neca Snake Alien, fantastic figure. The problem, these two, these two figures, probably my, my most favorite the alien figures of all time. Uh, I love them. Uh, when I say that, uh, I mean that. I mean that shit. Now, yesterday I made a trip to New York C City. My, 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 my auntie, uh, uh, my aunt, uh, took me out on a tour in the Bronx. Since I have not been there ever since I was born. So they got to do that. I think stop, and lo and behold, they had the Hydra 2 pack that had Supreme Captain America and Arnim Zola. Nice. Pretty sweet. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, Arnim Zola uh, is actually a better figure than I was expecting. No ab crunch, but that's to be expected with, with his face imprinted on, on his stomach. And Hydra Captain America, oh, this figure. This figure. 
This is good. This is good. <laughs> you know, this, is, this is one of the best Marvel Legends I can have. The only issue I have with it is, is the shield. But compared to everything else this figure does right, flawless. Uh, I love it. <laughs> that's, uh, and uh, that's all the that's all the, 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 the uh, pickups. Sweet. How's that? All right, well, who, wants to, who else wants to go? I guess Next! I'll go. Right. All right, so I'm going to start off with the two things that mattered the most for this month. <laughs> game tickets. Sorry to see me like... You have a... Yeah. You have and game, game tickets matter the most. <laughs> that, is the, that, is, that is important right there. It is important. If you ain't got your tickets, by at least the end of this next upcoming week, you're probably stuck. So Okay. But um, next... Uh, yeah, so I found it. Well, I figured I'd go show this chase. I got this yesterday. Um, uh, box lunch, not box lunch. Think Geek had it. They posted it on their little um Instagram. I was like, you know what, I'm going through there real quick. It took me a little drive, but I got it. Nobody picked it up. I was on top of it. So, got that goose chase, Flurkin, goodness. I got both of them now. I'm done with the set. And I can focus all my attention to end game. Struggles, <laughs> um. NG Chris said he, uh, the Caliban wave dropped at his stores. And Patricia said, I thought you'd never collect alien or predator figures. I guess she's talking to you, Vinny. <laughs> I, I've, always, I've always collected an alien and predator for those figures. Uh, 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 I'm not a diehard collector of the series, so, so that's why you, you didn't really see me co collect those a whole lot. But yeah, I collect the alien and predator stuff. <laughs> All right, who wants to go next? Next. All right. Uh, hold on a second. I got. I got. I got it written down. <laughs> uh, all right. I got the Siege Ironhide and uh, is it Six Gun? Nice. Six. Yeah. So I got those two. I. I also. I also got the Neca Spyro. Nice. I got uh, the Figma Reaper from Overwatch. Uh, and, uh, how? Uh, what did you you, th you think of the Figma Reaper? Are you having a lot of mixed mix, uh, th things about me? Oh, I I, I like him a lot. I thought he was like the the best figure in the line so far. Like definitely a figure of the year contender. Uh huh. Oh, nice. But uh, yeah. I, I could, I guess, I could see why some people aren't really feeling it, but uh, I don't know, man. It's like when you get him in your hands and you're just kind of like messing around with him. It's just, it's just really nice. It's like a lot of stuff you could do. Yeah. Uh, I got a, I got Living Laser, uh, Nighthawk, and Hercules from the Armored Thanos wave. Nice. Nice. I got uh, I got I got like I got like a like a shit ton of like Jurassic World figures. Like I can't I can't even tell you which ones like specifically. No, but I've seen your reviews though. Yeah, so I got like a shit ton of those. Oh, I got the Black <laughs> Series uh, General Grievous. Ooh, did you open that up? No, nah, not yet. Did Did you have to order that online, or was it like yeah? Yeah. yeah, I had to order it online. They got a grievous uh, at my GameStop right now. Yeah, see, like, because like, we don't have GameStop here, but, like, we have a store that's kind of, like, the equivalent, but they're very, like, iffy on, like, figures. Like, sometimes they'll get shit, and sometimes they won't. Fuck GameStop. Fuck um, Yeah. Shit, uh, I think I think that's I think that's it. Oh, I got I got some like uh I got some like wrestling figures too. Uh, so so Mr. Smith will appreciate this. I got a, uh, I got the Walmart exclusive Sensational Sherry. It's pretty nice. And I uh I got the Elite Red Rooster off Target's website. The Red Rooster. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a Target, it's like a Target.com exclusive or some shit. 
But uh, thankfully, like Target ships here, so I was able to uh, go on their website and kind of kind of get in a pre order for that. So that's what's up. That. Yeah. <coughs> so like a nice, uh, nice, decent pickup there, bro. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Oh, and I got a. Uh, I got the DC Universe Classics uh, Forager. That's what's up. Anyone else? Um. Yeah, I got a couple things. Let me just uh, turn on my camera. Okay. Um. So for people who've been watching the channel, um, most of the <laughs> New, but um, nice. Sorry. <laughs> first things first. I picked up the the clan leader predator throne. Dude, that's yeah. Sick. Yeah, that sorry. thing looks looks very awesome. Totally. Yeah, yeah. I can finally put my clan leader on it. So. <laughs> oh. done How well does he sit in the throne? I haven't tried it actually. Let me try it. Try it now. Yeah. Want to see? I'm assuming he'll be fine. But... Yeah, look. That biomechanical stuff, the bones look really good. Oh, he fits perfect. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. So, there it is. Um, another thing I picked up, a lot of Alien Predator stuff, but um, I got the finally the Covenant Xenomorph, mm -hmm. uh, nice. which... It's kind of a bitch to find, and luckily mine isn't a bootleg, so. It is not a bootleg. Nope, one of my subs uh, said it was legit, so I trust his judgment. <laughs> um, another thing that I got, Derek, this is for you. Um, for the 40th anniversary stuff, I picked up that blue one. Oh, lit. Yeah, which is basically more purple than blue, but. Right. Yeah. And then I picked up this little keychain guy. So that's dope. With the yeah. big noggin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and like Vinny showed off. I got these a while ago. But uh Snake Alien, Scorpion Alien, and uh Vinny, did you pick this one up? Uh no, I did not. Uh, uh I could I wanted to, but 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 uh but I could could not afford afford them. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, um and yeah, I think, I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, let me see what do I got. I got some same things Matt got. Got the Siege. Iron Hod and uh, Six Gun. Which Six Gun looks pretty badass. I know. Isn't he supposed to go with um, Metroplex? Yeah. Too bad I ain't got a Metroplex. <laughs> but that's okay. And I got my Vegito. <laughs> I'm just playing. It's Gogeta. <laughs> it's Gogeta. Uh, <laughs> the debate needs to stop. <laughs> potato, potato, Vegito, Gogeta. Whatever. But yeah, that's all I got right now. Feels good. Nice. All right, well, I think it's about that time for our top 10. The top 10, uh, as chosen by you, the Sanctuary members, as always, if you're not a member of the Sanctuary Facebook group, why aren't you become a member? If you like this video, smash the like, tell a friend, subscribe, do all that stuff. Like, why, why aren't you doing that? Like, tell... Share this. Share this on Facebook, on your Instagram, on your, on your Snapchat, on your Twitch, on your Tumblr, whatever you got. Share it. MySpace. MySpace. If, you still, if it still works, you can do that shit. <laughs> Make sure you share this on your Google Plus account. Yes, even though it's, it's going to die in like three more days, share that. Make sure you add us on LinkedIn and Pinterest, too. <laughs> <laughs> and if you feel free, start a Spaghetti and Friends Reddit. Join our Spaghetti and Friends streaming service. Become a patron. 
<laughs> For one dollar a day. All right, let's do this shit. So we asked the question of memorable deaths in comic books. You know, I put a few out there figuring, you know, we would get some some write-ins because there are some memorable ones and there are some people who don't remember. But we, we, we made the top 10. And shout out once again to a big uh, contributor, a sanctuary member, Matt Jacobson for, for writing in a couple other choices. A couple of them I, I was cool with and the others I was like, eh. But we're going to get into that. So let me uh, do a little screen share. Here. No, yeah, big shout out to Matt because uh, go check out his channel, Goodyear 851. He, uh, he watches all my stuff, appreciate it. He's a good guy. His streams are badass, too. You should go check him out. So... Matt Jacobson for uh, contributing to uh, the top 10. So let's start this right here. Coming in at the bottom of the barrel, unfortunately, we have Rorschach from Watchmen. Um, It's a memorable death, but like... I don't know. It, it, it's one of those things because it's so self-contained. There are no like future ramifications. It's not like in other comic books where a character dies and there is kind of blowback from the death. With Rorschach, it just, to me, like it ended and that's kind of it. Like yeah. there was no really like what happened afterwards. Like that was it. Watchmen's over. The book is done. Yeah, no consequences. Yeah, you just move the fuck on. So that to me, like, yeah, like I said, it's memorable, but like, I don't think it's that popular, like, in people's minds of like memorable death. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all that it is. But didn't do much because it just it's jerking the curtain. Ooh. Next, we have. Thanos. Now, I uh, see this is one of those ones where it's like, uh, I'm trying to remember, like, I don't recall Thanos really biting the bullet that much. So I'm maybe, maybe I missed something. You know, I haven't read everything. So I, I could have missed it. But you can't recall that either. Yeah, I can, I can recall he took some beatings. I can recall him killing some people. But him taking the L like that, I don't recall. But I see this photo of Drax punching through the chest, so it, it's got to be something. It's, it's, it's so again, I'm if sure, it happened, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm pretty sure Thanos is dead right now in the comics, but I, I don't I don't recall that being how he dies. Well, I, I could be wrong though. So like to me. It's not that memorable because, like I said, if it happened, I don't remember it. <laughs> mm. Didn't get much love, but it is what it is. No shame in trying. Next, we have Doomsday, New 52. I'll be honest with you, I... I checked out of the new 52. Like, after a few weeks, I was just done. So anything that happened, I really don't know. I checked out. <laughs> so, Doomsday, new 52, I don't know. I don't know. Have, did, you, did you read anything on that, Matt, or anybody else? No, uh, no, I was I was very like half in on like the new fifty two, like a lot of a lot of new fifty two stuff. I just didn't bother with. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well. Again, it happened, but I don't see it to be that memorable. But. 
the people have spoken. Next we have, okay, this one for me, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I question this one because, and that's Bruce Wayne. Now, this is from Flashpoint. Yeah. Do we count? Because, spoiler alert, Batman is also on this list. Here's the thing, like... Batman and a Bruce Wayne on the same list. Uh, this, this was a writing, correct? Yes. Yeah, so, like, Again, this feels very much like a Rorschach thing where, like, Flashpoint was just kind of over, over and done with. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is kind of, this is, like, you could, this would be almost, this would be almost an else world. Like, you could count it because, yeah, because, like, technically you could count it because that Bruce Wayne, it, it's, it's not like the main continuity. It's like, it's a different universe. Like, technically, it's a different character. But. Is it a is it a memorable death? I I I don't, I, I wouldn't I, I don't think so. Because like I said, Flashpoint was just kind of like it was what it was. Like it was a story. Flashpoint was just a reason to reboot the DC universe. Exactly. Exactly. That's all it was. Okay. <clears throat> Next on the list, we have Supergirl. Uh, Supergirl's death was memorable, but it's more memorable of like what they did with Supergirl after the facts. You know, with clones and her being with L- Luther and just and then Power Girl with the titties and, <laughs> and just, you know, just all kinds of shenanigans. But I can say it's it is pretty memorable. I mean, but you really kind of have to be like DC head like that, because to me, like, yeah, I re- I remember it, but I don't care. <laughs> like, Supergirl really wasn't the end all be all. I was more Superman into his shit because Supergirl comics were kind of weak, mm-hmm. kind of weak. But again, it, it is what it is. But it is so good. But again, thank you, uh, Matt Jacobson, for contributing to the countdown. Uh, next, we have Black Adam. Uh, again, I'm not a Shazam type guy, so I don't recall. Like I said, a lot of like a lot of DC is is like too much. Like that's why I couldn't get into the new Fifty Two because they literally tried to give you Fifty Two goddamn comics. I'm like, no, bro, I don't want to read Animal Man. Hey man, nobody Animal wants man. to read Animal, Animal Man. Listen, Animal Man was a great fucking series. <laughs> yeah, for for like who? For you and how many other people? Um, well, I'm <laughs> the only one that counts. So, yeah, like, but I mean, like, listen. This, this is why you have those team books. So you can throw an animal man and a vixen and just those characters who are not named Superman, Batman. I hear you, man. Like, I, uh, like that's the one, that's that's the issue with comics is it's too much like, uh, there's too much focus on like individual characters. I was always more into like team books. Like, it's okay to have individual characters if you have the rose, like that's why that's why Flash works. That's why Batman works. That's why Spider Man works. You know, and then and so on. That's why, like, okay, that's why they always say, like, okay, why is everybody talking about Batman and Superman, but really not Wonder Woman? Because Wonder Woman ain't got no rose gallery, so nobody gives a shit. Same thing with like fucking with Aquaman. You don't give a fuck that much about Aquaman because outside of fucking uh, Black Manta, who else he got? Nobody. Yeah, and again, how deep is this? How deep? How deep is his roster of, of, of villains? I feel like it. I feel like there's probably a lot more villains 
than 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 we think. It's just there are probably a lot of like obscure ones. I mean, like if like seriously, if you read some of the solo comics, and it's like no, like like I said, Flash has a rogues gallery. Batman has a rogues gallery. Superman's got a rogues. Fucking Spider Man's got them. And you know the X Men have theirs, but even the X Men have theirs, and they're and they're a team, and they have a rogues gallery. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then if you say go Captain America, Captain America really his 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 rogues gallery is basically the Nazi party. Anybody in Hydra, Hydra, AIM, any any anybody who who who, who threatens American freedom that's 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 Captain America's rogues. But you know, same thing. Like you know, not everybody. So sometimes you need teams. But like I said, Shazam, Black Adam. I know we kind of got off on a little tangent there, but uh, Black Adam. I don't remember him dying. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm cool with that. Next, we have the Joker. Uh, this is a course from the Dark Knights. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty memorable, but I. Honestly, I, I I treat it like I treat the Bruce Wayne. Like it, it it's one of those things that it happens, but it didn't happen because it's not you know it's not main continuity. Yeah. So like it's it's memorable that yeah it happened, but not that memorable. Because <laughs> you know the actual Joker still lives. All right, moving on, we'll do Electra. Uh, yeah, that's pretty memorable. I mean, especially for Daredevil at that time. Mm-hmm. Plus, it was kind of it was kind of pretty brutal, as you can see. So, I kind of thought I was gonna put this on the list, but there was this like this this some that like. Even right now, like I put on my list that I'm like, damn, how did I forget that one? But it happens. But sorry, Electra, not so much. All right, moving on, we have, which I would have thought this one, especially because it's still kind of fresh, would have done a little more, but didn't that much. And that being Glenn from The Walking Dead. You know how many pictures I had to go through? Because I was like, what would be the best picture? to show for this. Do I want to go with his face? Do I want the one with his head's bashed in? Like, which one do I pick? I went with the more, I went sensible. But Glenn from The Walking Dead, uh, I mean, it's a memorable death because it's just, like, it's hard not to remember it, especially just, I think it's more memorable now because, like, the show put it in fucking reality that it made it look so fucking real. Yeah. That it makes it even like that 10 times brutal. But even before they even put it on TV, just just the whole depiction of it and just that Negan's attitude of just like cracking a fucking dude's skull and just like kind of still clowning his ass while he's like dying in front of you. It's it's, it's kind of like if you talk about like memorable deaths, like I, I I still remember like everything I did that day. The day like I read that issue, it's like that day is like burned into my memory. Yeah, because like I said, it's pretty. It's 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 it's, it's brutal, man. Yeah. Like and it's like and it's one of those things like what makes it so brutal was like okay you. You crack the skull, so like I said, he's he's pretty much good enough dead. Like there's there's, there's no coming back. Like you you dented the man's skull in. He's dead. And you continue to just bash it until his head is just jelly. So it's just like, yeah, that shit like that you don't forget. <laughs> and then ended off say. Lucille, she's a vampire bat. <laughs> like, man, that's that's fucking brutal. But again, I, I thought I voted for it. I thought it was memorable, but not everybody else thought the same. But it it happens. It happens. 
Next on the list, we have Iwatu, the Watcher. Now, I chose this one on the list for the simple fact that the just the ramifications of Iwatu's death, like aftermath of it all, was like big deal. Because this this kind of set a lot of things in motion of the new Marvel we have today. Started off with original sin and fucking trying to find out who killed the watcher and took his eyes, by the way. So it to me, to me, it seemed like a, a memorable moment because, like I said, it, it it sparked off a lot of things to come afterward. The incursions, everything, the 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 worlds colliding, se- fucking secret wars, all that started from fucking the death of the Watcher. So that's why, to me, I thought it was memorable. So I put it on there. But again, not everybody saw it that way. But that's cool. No, and not everything's gonna be a winner. Sometimes you just you just gotta act, you gotta get in the fight, but you're not always gonna get fucking a hit. You might just get knocked out. So it happens. All right, next on the list we have Jean Grey. Again, Jean Grey, I, I think it's almost like she's notorious for just dying. So I put her on here because, you know, who doesn't remember Jean Grey dying? And Scott being all mad and Wolverine being all mad because they both love the same woman. But then Scott got over it real quick because he found a chick that looked just like her. (laughs) She was just a clone. She just tricking you, Scott. He, yo, he felt, yo, Scott's a sucker, okay? Clearly, you, you would think if you're a mutant and you know that there are people who have the power to manipulate and contort things and make you see things, and you just lost your woman, and not too long after, a woman comes into your life, Looks just like your woman. And you don't think twice grieving. about that. He was grieving, man. He wasn't in his right mind. Yeah, but, but still, you don't even think twice about it. Like, you don't even, like, come on. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an X-Man. I've seen some shit at this point. I got friends that can walk through walls. Like, my girlfriend read my mind. And you gonna sit there and say, I just met this next woman, look, just like my dead woman. And don't even think about it. Like, nope, I'm a banger. Have a little baby cable. <laughs> just don't think nothing of it. And then Gene come back and be like, oh, oh, I, I thought it was you. <laughs> He's like, tripping, son. Scott's a player. Tripping. Then I was only making love with Emma Frost in my mind. It's not cheating. <laughs> we only had psychic sex, Gene. <laughs> Yo, Scappy Wild. Man, so. okay. Man, if if I had the if I had the choice between Jean Grey and Emma Frost, fucking Emma Frost every day of the week. <laughs> Fuck Jean Grey. <laughs> well, she got fucking. She got them fucking big titties. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blonde hair, fucking accent. All right, well, nice. moving on. <laughs> oh, the next on the list again. Uh, we have Captain America. Uh, I thought this was memorable for the simple fact that it kind of ended the whole Civil War. You know, so it was kind of not even ended the Civil War. The Civil War had ended at this point, and Cap was up for trial, and motherfucker get assassinated. That's how we end up with Bucky Cap for a hot minute. And you get your all your Bucky Cap figures with that body mold. So there yeah. you go. That's how babies get made. 
the be- the best part of Civil War uh-huh. was Captain America kicking the shit out of the Punisher, <laughs> being like, "We don't kill people." <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> He fucking like he just fucking slaps him around like a little bitch. <laughs> we don't kill people, we hurt people. So yeah. Big difference. <laughs> well Cat's death not that memorable, but close. Coming in next we have are we in the top five yet? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Batman. Uh, I think Batman's death to me was memorable, but not because of where Batman went after he died. Where he went on his little uh, fucking time travel journey of pirate bats and cave Batman. And, and I think it cheapened the death, at least for me. Yeah. Like, if you're going to be dead, be dead. But don't be... Uh, I didn't die. I just went on a fucking fucking fun and adventure. Oh yeah. Like I just I just went on a I went on a magical fucking carpet ride over here. While Superman's over here holding my fucking crispy bones. That wasn't my crispy bones. It's fucking I'm I'm over here. I'm a fucking Captain Bruce Sparrow over here. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I, like I said, like it's memorable, but like I said, the whole aftermath oh. of it cheapens it. Like it just, like be dead. If you're gonna die for a little bit, die for a little bit, but don't die, and then go on an adventure, and then come back and be like, you know, hey, you know fucking hey, 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 Dick, you've been playing Batman with my son. Well, now you now you know how how I felt running around with your little ass. How to feel? And then Dick's think? like, he's like, hey, take Bruce fucking dickhead, take your suit back. I don't want it. I like Nightwing. Yo, when when Thunderbolt Ross turns into the Red Hulk, what what do you think happens to his mustache? Do you think it like goes into like an alternate universe? And where I think a series of adventures. I think his upper lip grows so much fucking muscle mass that it just absorbs the hairs. Is it that, or does yeah. it go into an alternate dimension where it has its own adventures? I don't think it. I don't think it goes into an alternate dimension. I think it's because because his, his body grows in size, so it's like muscle mass just overtakes it. Like we're so fucking beefy, we ain't got time for for hair follicles. We need the space for fucking muscle mass. So when I fucking beef up fucking Hulk style. Like all that's why Hulk is always so smooth because he's just his beef just outgrows the hair. So Ross's all, mustache all, just res- all the hair. Why does he still have hair on his head? Well, see that like that right there is just like we'll we'll go with the hair, like we'll give him some hair, but it kind of just stays there. But it's like the his head doesn't get that big, like it's mostly lower, lower jaw, and it just absorbs the mustache because like you can't have facial hair. What about his leg hair? Yo, I don't know. Hulk always seemed fucking pretty smooth. Yeah, he did, eh? Uh, just seemed like a smooth, like I'm telling you. Fucking, the muscles absorbed that hair, kid. He needed room for fucking body mass. You, you know whose mustache I wish disappeared into another dimension? I, I wish it was Ares' mustache from Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still don't understand why they did that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, but Batman didn't do so well. So, moving on. And we have Wolverine. Like I said, uh, Wolverine's death to me is memorable because it, it, it was the first time that he he got to rest. Like he he's been the he's been Marvel's goat. Like yeah, Spider Man's the most popular, but in fact of of visual brand recognition, but Wolverine's the fucking goat. Like yeah, if, remember, like hey, you know I remember, uh, your team suffering, put Wolverine in your team. 
Well, yeah, like I I remember like before he died, he was in like uh, he was in like six books. So like, hey, you got you, you got a problem with some sales? Hey, hey, let's do a couple uh, Wolverine appearances. Let them team up with you. You know, he he was that guy. Like they they milked it for whatever it was worth. You see, you, like you just like even like you you can just see it with the movies. Even though they made bad X Men movie after bad X Men movie, they they find a way to get Wolverine up in that bitch. Because mm-hmm. it's just he, he's just that popular, and his death was just a little bit of like you know what let's 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 we'll, we'll give you Wolverine light in X twenty three. Let 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 Log let Logan rest. The man has been through some things. He he went through the nineties for God's sakes. Let the <laughs> man rest. <laughs> Remember what they did to Wolverine in the nineties and two thousands? <laughs> Man needed a rest, mm. and you know he's back now. Just in case you was wondering, spoiler alert. But he was going for a little bit, not long, but right. a little bit. All right, enough, <laughs> enough, enough tangents. It's, it's, it's top five is taking forever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next we have. Gwen Stacy, I mean, it's Gwen Stacy. Fucking Spider Man's love. She died. I still think Spider Man killed her, but you know, that's debatable. Uh, yeah. All right, coming in at number three, we have Optimus Prime. This is one of the 24 times he has died. I picked this one because this one was the most dumbest one of them all. Because in the comic issue, him and Megatron was battling in some kind of arcade game and the loser would have to blow themselves up. Megatron cheated. Prime knew he cheated, but still honored that he lost and then blew himself up. And some kid saved his memory on a floppy disk. It was fucking retarded. But Mm -hmm. yes, he died. He came back. And then he died again. (laughs) <laughs> Number three, Optimus Prime. Number two, I'm surprised is Superman. I would have thought Superman would have got number one. Superman, you know, it's Superman. Yeah. He died. He died, and then they told us he was in a hard coma, and he came back. And he's been back ever since. He had a mullet for a while. Kind of looked mm-hmm. good on him. And number one, we have the boy Wonder Robin. Robin, I think, I'm not surprised that he won because it was people who voted for him to die. (laughs) So, (laughs) again, he loses all the time. Robin loses all the time. (laughs) And it's like, yeah, people voted for this kid to die, which was brutal. But but, but, hey, having not been for that, we probably would have, have never gotten Red Hood. Eh, probably wouldn't. Well, we'll, we'll I'll get into that in a few minutes. But Rob is number one. Uh, if you guys got your top five, you can go for it. I had some visual aids, but I don't feel like doing visual aids right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can go first. All right, cool. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll try to go through them like fairly quick. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't got no, I don't got no visual aids either. So my top five, in no particular order, uh, I picked Superman. Although his, although we all knew he was gonna come back, and although his death kind of was was cheesy a little bit, uh, just the ramifications it had on like the world, like you know, like people was taking the day off of work, like their fucking aunt had died, like. Uh, you know, and I, I, at that time, like comic book deaths were not what they are now. They weren't as like now. If somebody dies in comics, it's like who cares? They'll come back. But back then, it was a big deal. So, I went with Superman. Uh, number four. I I I picked a Walking Dead character, but uh. I didn't, I didn't pick Len. Instead, I went with Lori, Lori Grimes. Uh, and at the time, I think she was one of the first, like, 
in, in that issue, they, this was when they really started killing like big characters, and uh, you know the visual of her running, and and basically like just getting shot while holding like her newborn baby, and then like uh, the baby like dying at the same time. You know, like it was a it was a little bit jarring, and again that you know Rick was definitely like messed up for like a while after that so it did have uh it did have some ramifications for many issues to come number three i went with electra uh ultimately it was what it was but just more more or less like the death itself like like mr smith said earlier it was pretty brutal uh, a, a lot of people, a lot of people compare the visuals almost as like, like he was almost like metaphorically like raping her. Like you see the visual of her getting stabbed with her own side, but like it doesn't go through her clothes or her shirt, whatever. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of take how that how you want. Number two. I went with Donatello from Ninja Turtles. Uh, again, this was a death that was like undone pretty quickly, but they had, an, you know, the fact that they had announced that IDW announced that they were going to be killing off a Ninja Turtle was uh, was was pretty hard to swallow for a lot of people. You know, especially Ninja Turtles are usually associated with being like fun loving and having a good time very light-hearted you don't usually associate the ninja turtles with death and uh, in that in that issue you don't directly see it but just the silhouettes of bebop and rocksteady just just beating donatello to death and like crushing his shell i thought he uh, lived he, he did live but like he died but they brought he, they brought him back uh, okay. oh god yeah and my number one, I, I went with Jason Todd. Uh, you kind of touched on it yourself. Fans, fans voted. Uh, well, you know, when Dick Grayson left the Batman comics, the sales dropped. I guess people wasn't really feeling like Jason Todd, and uh, a lot of people called in and they they sentenced this poor boy to death. <laughs> and, uh, He's just a you know, child. Yeah, like he was just a child, man, and these people was like, "Yo, like fucking kill him," <laughs> you know. Again, some pretty gruesome visuals, like being tied to a chair, like fucking beaten with a crowbar. <laughs> but it kind of, again, uh, as as Vinny touched on earlier, it kind of worked out in the end because we got we got Red Hood later on. So was it the worst thing? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was, but. He was still he was still just a child, damn it. And, uh, yeah, so that's my that's my top five. Mr. V said he cried when Donnie died. Yeah, like it was it was pretty intense, right? Because like I said, like usually you don't associate the Ninja Turtles with uh, with death, and like I think I think like they brought him back eventually, but yeah, it was pretty intense, and like it wasn't just like. He died in like an explosion. Like he got beaten to death by Bebop and Rocksteady. Like they fucking beat him to death with sledgehammers. I, I feel dead inside. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, my mommy. <laughs> Yo. Thanks for the thanks for the downer, Matt. <laughs> I know who, who who wants to go next. I I will go next. Uh, number five, it was pretty tricky, but uh, but uh, I went with the death of Peter Parker, Spider Man in the Ultimate Universe. Well, well that was still hot, and uh, because that death was brutal. Spider Man sacrificed himself to the uh, to uh, and killed the the the, uh, the Green Goblin. Uh, uh, that, then, uh, then after that, he uh, he passed away. But, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, having not been for that, we probably would not have gotten Miles Morales. Uh, and uh, it was just such a shocking death the first time uh, I read that. Like the Ultimate series for for a while, well, was was pretty good. 
uh, and you know the, they just yeah, they just flew out in front of in front of my face. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my god, he he, he, he dead. Yeah, the, the the killed this like 16 year old kid. Uh, it it was brutal, but uh, but 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 I only put it at number five because well. I remember it, but 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 it's not exactly how do you say? Not uh, it, it, like like with Jason Todd, it, it worked out it in the end. And speaking of which, number four that also goes to Jason Todd's Robin. Um, uh, pretty much for all the reasons that David and uh, Matt, <coughs> Matt, I, I have done nothing to add to it. Uh, number three has to go to Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond in, in, in the DC Comics. I'm not sure if, if he came back or not. I, ha I haven't caught up with, with them for a bit. Bob, I do remember in the story arc of Future's End, Terry, Terry McGinnis met, uh, met his death. And, um, and that was sad uh, for me personally because, uh, because I like Terry McGinnis. I love Batman, Batman Beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it was, uh, and it was uh, sad to, to see that, that happen. It was, it was crazy because I, I never thought uh, I would see that. Mm -hmm. and, number, and, and number two has, has to go to uh, Superman's death. Or, Never uh, when when he died against Doomsday. I have I don't really have much else to add to it other than it was a really impactful death because people thought Superman was just, you know this ultimate being that cannot be killed. But hey, they were proved dead wrong. Now I know <clears throat> later it was stated that they, you know he got put into a coma. Um, never, uh, but but fuck that shit. It, it was still crazy when when it first ha happened. Fuck that noise. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Fuck. That. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Number one, I am gonna shoot. I'm gonna choose Joker's death from in, from the first Injustice <laughs> because uh. that, because that one, wow, that, that one yeah, honestly gave me nightmares from both seeing it in the comic and when I played the first Injustice game because that yeah, was that was a good one. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Joker get killed not by Batman who. Everybody would have wanted or expected. No, it was Superman be because Joker took away his family and also killed millions upon millions of people in Metropolis with that nuke. It was the craziest shit you could ever see because you never would have thought Superman would do something like that. But hey, that goes to show everybody has a breaking point. Yep. Everybody has a breaking True. point and. And that was Superman's breaking point, L losing his his his, his wife and, and and his unborn child to, at the hands of, of this clown who 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 could who could give a rat rat's ass uh, who, who dies uh, or not by his hands. And Superman uh, 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 punched a hole through his chest, and, and that was the end of that story. It was the game when I when I saw it in the in the comics. Wow, that uh, that that. That actually put chills down my spine, and was, uh, the, that was the most impactful dead death to me, in my personal opi uh, opinion. That's, so that's why I put that at number one. That was that was a good top five. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go. And also, also, Vinny, uh, I I know the answer to whether Terry McGinnis comes back or not. Do you want me uh, to tell you? Uh, yeah, tell me. He, he does, in fact, come back. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I knew he died. I just did not know if he came back or not. It's been a while since I caught up with Batman. Yeah. All, right. All right. Well, my top five. Uh, number five, we're going with Charles Xavier. And Charles Xavier by the death of Cyclops' hands. Uh, I think it was a memorable death because it was a death that, honestly, you kind of saw it coming and you didn't see it coming. And frankly, since his death, the X-Men haven't been the same since. Like, they haven't been the X-Men of old without Xavier. Plus, also, you know, side note. Red Skull took his brain <laughs> and all kind of crazy shit. Like, how do you take a man's brain? And you, I, don't, I don't know. Comic books are weird. But moving <laughs> on, number four, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Robin as well. Again, brutal death, 
gave us Red Hood. It was definitely like a milestone in comics that to this day is still not forgotten. So go with the Robin. Uh, number three, I am going with. Hold on, I have this written down. Number three, I am doing the Optimus Prime because I just find it funny that he just dies so many times. But just that one of him dying and a freaking because he he let Meg he knew Megatron cheated and he still let him get it. Like you you dummy, you deserve to get blown up. <laughs> so. Yeah. Number two, I choose Barry Allen's The Flash. Barry Allen gave his life to take on the Anti-Monitor and, and save the whole DC universe. He was dead for a very long time, but he's alive now. But there's a reason I picked him as my number two, because my number one is Superman. And Superman died... Superman's death broke death, which we didn't really discuss a topic of discussion, but after Jimmy goes and Derek goes, I have a question for you guys about the death of Superman. So that's my top five. Uh, Jimmy, you want to go or Derek if he has one? I don't have one, so Jimmy can just go. All right. Um, yeah, I missed, yeah, I just didn't know what we were doing. So, no, I didn't. so these aren't in any... Uh, particular order. So the first one, obviously, you guess pretty much that it was Superman. Um, for me, it, it wasn't even like the consequences of what happened to the DC universe after Superman, like with funeral for a friend and stuff. It yeah. was more of like he didn't die by getting stabbed or he didn't die by exploding. He just fell on the ground because like he practically died from exhaustion. And that kind of stumped me. Because you would expect like a more climactic death, you know? Yeah. But it was like exhaustion. So that's what stood out to me. It's like, oh. o originally, for my next one, it was going to be Glenn from The Walking Dead. Um, and I'm not stealing your idea, Matt, don't worry. But I actually think, spoiler alert for Walking Dead, um, Alpha, Ooh. that really took me by surprise. I did not expect. Uh, Negan to cut off her head. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good one. Yeah, I just I that was the last thing I could have expected. So there you go. Um, the other one would be Joker from Dark Knight Returns. I mean, we all know it. You know, battering to the eye it was definitely a really weird way for him to die, considering you know Batman. So uh, that surprised me. Uh, these next two are ironically from the same comic, Old Man Logan, just because of the violence. And that's kind of what all my choices are based off of. Um, so first off would be Captain America from Old Man Logan. I mean, Red Skull plunged his fucking thumbs into his eyes. And that traumatizes you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, my last one, again, from the same comic, would be Hulk. Freaking he swallows Wolverine, and then fucking Wolverine slices through his stomach, and he just, like, is torn in half, and it's disgusting. And <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah, so there's my top five. See, that's what happens when you don't chew your food. Yeah. You don't learn nothing from Sylvester and Tweety. Uh, I don't know if Derek's there. I think he might be sleeping. I heard some snoring earlier. Uh, that, I'm still here. You hear me? My oh, okay. No, no, that's that's yeah. that's that's my that's my wife. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Derek, are you there? No, I hear Derek. Yeah, yeah I know. I know somebody at least heard me. Oh, yeah, I can't I hear, hear him. I I hear Derek. Oh, son of a bitch! Have, I'll be back. Yeah, no, Derek, Derek said. Uh, Derek said he don't. He doesn't have a top five. He doesn't have a top five. Okay. Uh, that Derek, that's correct, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, yeah. All right. Well, 
I'll be back anyway. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would have did it if I knew we were doing it. At least this one. Because, you know, I've just been busy. Yeah. So, that's all all right, now I hear Derek. Okay, real quick. So, like I was saying on the discussion thing, there's a theory that in the death of Superman, Superman, not just his death, but his return broke death in comics. Meaning that before Superman, pretty much anyone who died usually stayed dead. And like that's why I had picked Barry Allen because Barry Allen, before Superman died, stayed dead for like a long time. Now he's alive again. <laughs> Same thing with Jason Todd. Jason Todd stayed dead, but once after Superman, he lived. In fact, there's a list of not even just in just DC alone, but in Marvel in general. That after Superman died and returned, pretty much everyone who had ever died, who had stayed dead, all came back. You know, well, you know another another popular character that died and never came back. Who that? Hellboy. Hmm. Hmm. Cop. A couple examples I could think of of characters that stayed dead and never ca- came back was was definitely the uh, the Winter Soldier. Because before, when he was Captain America's partner, he stayed dead uh, until the Winter Soldier story. Yeah. yeah, and that also happened after Superman. Exactly. So that's 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 the point I'm trying to make, that somehow or another, Superman's death and return it broke the it it, it broke comics like I, I like agree. i said the only person i could think of who is still dead is uncle ben yeah <laughs> uncle ben is still dead and, and uncle people ben is the only one who has but not I, had any uncle type of real resurrection but like <laughs> uncle ben's not a good example because <clears throat> uncle ben was created just to die like there was never ever meant yeah. to be more to his character it's like it's like Tom and Thomas and Martha Wayne. Like they yeah, but even even Thomas and Martha Wayne came back in the Flashpoint. They've at least uh, come a, back in some well, Uncle form. Ben, well, well, if you if you if you make that argument, then in in Spider Verse there was a version of Spider Man that was Ben. Yeah, I know. But I mean, as as in a whole, like, oh, I'm coming back and I'm gonna be back. Yeah, you can you can say yeah, Thomas and Martha. Yeah, you can you can say Jorel. There are a few constants that yeah, they might be the catalyst to no, no, certain Jarell, things. Jarell, Jarell's alive, man. Jorel's back. No way. <laughs> but for the most part, hero wise, Superman's Superman's return broke that because, like I said, yeah. people. People who were dead for, we're not talking like dead for like a year or two. We're talking dead. Like I said, Barry Allen was dead for like two decades. Yeah, no, I'm not, Before, no, I'm not agreeing. I'm not disagreeing with you. You know, we, you know, like I said, Jason Todd, another one. You know, like I said, it's just it, it's it's just a weird thing of how one one character like set a chain of events. And it was all because of his the sales of the comic. Well, it's like, I mean, what did you expect when you kill Superman? What did you What did they think was gonna happen? Yeah, it, it sold a shit ton of comics, but did you think people were gonna be happy with Superman staying dead? Like, come on. Probably not. Well, it's like, but, like, uh, it's like Vinny mentioned, like. Or no, sorry, because uh, Vinny did Ultimate Peter Parker. But when like they killed off like six one six Peter Parker, like yo, like people was fucking losing their shit, man. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. People 
uh, I remember that like it was yesterday. People were well, talking about Superior Spider Man. Yeah, but like oh, people, yeah, yeah, no, Superior Spider Man. Uh, like the the story that led up to Superior Spider Man. People yeah. were losing were losing their minds over that and giving the the writer death threats just because he killed Spider Man. And, and yeah, be, like be, 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 be because you know everybody has to remember Spider Man is not only the most popular superhero of all time; he's also the most commercially successful. Uh, yep. uh, that's a fact. And, yeah, and, that's a fact. Yeah. And, and when people and when people found out, you know, he was dead. You know, the most popular su- superhero, not Marvel, most popular superhero in general. He, he the, and the pe- people flip shit. Well, see, yeah. why did you think? Yeah. Why do you think that like we got Superior Spider Man? Like, yeah. like if you look at it like this, it's like okay, we killed, we killed Parker, but we're gonna still give you Parker's body. Octavius is gonna be to a degree. He 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 became Parker, but Parker with more of an edge and a backbone. Yeah. And they just wanted to play with that to see, like, hey, do like do people like the the more edgier Peter Parker? I mean, granted, yeah, it, you knew you knew always Peter was gonna find his way back. That that's that's why you know it went the route. Sure, yeah, did he? Did 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 Otto rub some people the wrong way? Yeah, he kind of fucked them over with the Avengers a little bit. But in return, you you gave him a billion dollar industry. So I was like, hey, uh, <laughs> we, we 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 can now compete with like Stark because I now have fucking Parker Industry here, which you probably wouldn't have done on your own, Peter, because you weren't thinking big like Otto. Otto's like, fuck it, you're like. Peter's too smart to be doing this fucking this chump shit. And he just took him to that level where he 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 knows Peter could have probably gone on his own. Yeah. And it's like, fuck it. Let's do this. He 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 knew the kid was smart. Uh-huh. He's over there too busy wanting to take photos and, and stupid shit. Like, no, fuck this. You should be a fucking, you should be a tech giant. Like fucking Stark over here, and you're over here fucking jerking around with Jonah J over here. So like I I I, I always knew Peter was gonna come back. I I kind of like Superior. Like I said, I liked a little bit of the Edge, but I, I didn't really get into it that much because in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, it's it's Peter, kind of Peter with the Edge, but it's it's just fucking Otto. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's Otto, and uh, since, since, since he was evil the first time, of course he he would have he would have uh, had, had the edge. Yeah, you know, and you know, and he just decided to like you know he kind of took a turn to leaf, but he was just like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do right. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the name Spider Man proud, but just be superior. I, hey, I I like the look of the outfit. I, I appreciate the adding the extra legs. I I dig the look. Uh, 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 here's the thing. I, I'm not against Superior Spider-Man because I, I actually like him. I, I like Superior Sp- Spider-Man. I love the story. I love the character development that they gave Otto while he was in Spider-Man's body. And I hate that uh, that they threw it away for uh, for future comics. Like that was stupid. But uh, but um, uh, b- b- because of all that development when Otto didn't come back, you know, it was just gone. Like kaput. It's like it, it never happened. Um, which which pissed me off. But uh. Uh, yeah, like, uh, well, uh, David, I, I know w- w- where where you coming from. Uh, c- c- coming from, like, uh, I like the Superior uh, Spider Man. Yeah, it was, it was, it, it served its purpose. Like I said, it was, just, it was. I think, like I said, Marvel. It was Marvel's way of just trying to see, like, would would people prefer him to be like this? Because, like I said, Peter, Peter's been around for a long time, so there's only so much you can do with him. Yeah. So to do that was just like it was a change of pace, and then you know we bring him back. You get you get you get your standard Peter back. So it was it was is what it is. But like I said, back to the like the the, the thing. Like I said, Superman. I don't know. Like to me, it's just and like then and then you sit there and say, well, you, technically you, you didn't kill him because then you go off and say, oh, he was just he's just sleeping really hard. Like he. Doomsday knocked his ass to sleep. <laughs> That's basically what you telling me. Like he just hit him so hard, he went to sleep. It is kind of an insult to, to the people that that read the comic uh, and, and kind of de- deviated from, from it a little bit. <laughs> it, it, I mean, 
Mr. V said he loves Superior Spider-Man. Yeah, and the Legends figure is cool too. Yeah, I got that one. Uh, it, I, it, I have that the Legend. It's it's an underrated figure. But it's just like, like you know, you go from oh, I I, I died from exhaustion saving Metropolis too. I just got knocked the fuck out by Debo. <laughs> Like straight up, like you just you like literally, you're waiting for Chris Tucker to be like, "You got knocked the fuck out, man!" <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's basically what you're telling me. And he had to sleep it off for for a fucking summer. Because mm-hmm. soon as it was over, his ass his ass come out with the fucking perm ass mullet, looking like Al Sharpton in all mm-hmm. black suits, talking about the the fuck y'all doing out here. Got this motherfucker running around with a hammer looking like Shaq. Got this little motherfucker out here walking around with walking around with the jacket and too many straps around his, his thighs and wrists. I got this clone of me out there killing, and then I got this robot, this Terminator out here wilding the fuck out. Put put my man, put my man Green Lantern into fucking mental breakdown. Cause you blew up his he blew his fucking town up. So now he out here in these streets rallying. When I wake up to this bullshit, like, please, man, put me back to sleep. <laughs> like, the fuck I wake up to? Like, yo, Batman, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Thought you supposed to be my ace. Mm-hmm. My man, my man, my man wake up with a fresh perm mullet. Like, yo. And then on top of that, he come back and first thing on his mind is like, oh, I got, I got a Clark Kent just got dug out of a rock. He been, he been under a rock for three, like for a whole summer. Like fucking get the fuck out of here! And all he got is a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> he, got, he got a fresh mullet though. Uh, <laughs> he got a fresh mullet and a five o'clock shadow. Talking about I was stuck under a rock. Like get the fuck. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding uh, me? That's what's up. Like, I, I, it's weird, but it, it, like I said, I think S- Superman did a lot of harm and good of, in his death and return. Like, it, it definitely put comics back into, like, the main forefront. But then you got people who speculated that the comic would be worth millions of dollars not realizing that it's millions of dollars when there's only like one. <laughs> when there's a hundred thousand copies, it ain't worth shit. Okay? Trust me, I know. It ain't worth it's not that's why I never put I never left one. I had one in the plastic and one out of the plastic. But it ain't it, it's not worth it's 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 not worth nothing. Why? Because there's too many out there now. Now, if everybody else's copy burns up and I got the one, then yeah, that shit will be worth some money. But till that day happens, yeah, it ain't it ain't doing nothing. That's 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 what the fucking '90s craze did. The speculation that comics were gonna be worth money because someone found an old original first issue Superman and it sold for like thousands of dollars. They're like, well. If we buy these comics, someday they'll be worth something. Yeah, maybe. If there wasn't a fucking five hundred thousand copies out there, mm-hmm. like, dude, I could pick, I could pick everybody up in this panel a fucking Death of Superman still in plastic right now. Well, why don't you? <laughs> why don't I? <laughs> motherfucker, I still ain't made of money. They, they, they not worship, but they not cheap. <laughs> Listen, man, put your put your money where your mouth is. Oh shit, shit, shit. Sign up for my Patreon right. and I'll get you got some comics. <laughs> I think all right, all right. I think it's if you can if you cannot provide each one of us a copy of Death of Superman, I think the only fair thing to do is each each one of us gets to pick a figure out of your out of your collection. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting the neck of turtles. Nice. Fuck that noise.
<laughs> you won't meet you. I'm gonna take the most expensive thing you got. <laughs> and and, and, and Smith, Smith, remember you said in past episodes the Dinobots count as one. Nah, fuck that noise. You can get, the, you can get this five knuckle shuffle, nigga. Five <laughs> That's what you get. Nah, bro. You win. You you get a you get a nothing prize. With a complimentary meal of a hot cup of nothing. Damn, uh-huh. there's a real with, un- with unlimited <laughs> just, cups of nothing. Just pee on all your figures and they're yours. <laughs> I don't have to pee on all my figures. Uh-huh. That's what I did. Uh-huh. All right, we, we got anything else? Like, uh, uh, I think we got. I mean, shit. Uh, uh, any spotlights on the sanctuary there, uh, Jenny Lee? One moment. Not Jimmy Dean. Not Jimmy Dean. Hold on, I got too many figures on the dash. It's like I come to this YouTube channel hoping to see breakfast sausages, and all I see is predators and aliens. I thought this was Jimmy Dean. <laughs> Grandma, you put your damn glasses on. That's Jimmy Lee, not Jimmy Dean. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I thought it was. I said he looked a little young for his age to be making breakfast sausages. <laughs> it looks like he got blades, though. Blades. Sickly boy. <laughs> Damn it, Grandma. What I tell you about always ordering stuff off the home shop and shit out, Rufus. All right. <laughs> Transformers fanboy fourteen, thank you for joining us in the chat. Oh. Is this kid friendly? It can be kid friendly. I think we've passed the shenanigans already, so you, you're probably safe. We've already passed the shenanigans ever since uh, I sang the "fuck this shit on out" song. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's, 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 it's pretty kid friendly. We 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 can kind of we kind of uh, uh. the language. God damn it, Benny! Oh. What, what we got on what we got on the the okay. sanctuary spot lights? Okay, so ooh, we got some Funkos. We got this Hellboy here. Hellboy, yeah, That's a good Funko Pop. Okay, we got Hellboy here. Um, His numero uno. Looks like we got more of these. Also, yeah, he also picked up the fortieth stuff, which is pretty cool. Ooh, we got the blue one. That's nice. So it's an ugly little thing. Ugly little thing. Ugly little thing this thing is. Mr. Matt Jacobson just posted this. Nice. That's a good looking Batman. Yeah. Batman. Um, <laughs> oh, look at these. That's pretty cool. Are those life-size helmets? Yeah, I have the one on the left. I don't have the one on the right, though. Okay, does it fit your noggin? Yeah, it fits me. Cool. Yeah, it actually fits me really well, surprisingly. Why don't you go outside like, I'm a Power Ranger. Yo, you should do that as a video. Just go around, run around yeah. in your Power Ranger helmet. No, <laughs> you I'm going to uh, some wild karate chops. Nah, <laughs> I'm going to run around only with the helmet on. Only, do yeah. it. <laughs> and, Just and, do and, it. And, and biker shorts. <laughs> um, ooh, what else we got? We got Dan Reborn here. Shout out to Dan. Ooh, what? Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it in your pants, fellas. Mr. Yeah. V said he passed. Kid Mr. V friendly. said he passed on the on the movie helmet. Speaking of Mr. V, he just posted this random way. <laughs> what the? F- huh? Bad news, Sanctuary. Rick Hansen won't be playing Thanos for Endgame. Uh, nah, I just got to turn my tickets now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why, why you do this to me? Looks why? Like we got a Transformer here. Yeah. A Rampage. Yeah. R- R- Rampage. That's that Bayformer's <laughs> idea of Construct the cons. I say no, sir. I say no. 
that um, is insane. Oh my god. Here's a wrestling yeah. thing that I, I don't know. It's Becky Lynch. Yeah, there you go. I, I don't know them wrestlers. Huh? She's the women's champion. Oh. She She's two be Becky two belts. Ooh. Ooh. Um, we got this funky looking Thanos here. Yeah, those those these figures that they got out because they've been dropping those at Walmart are creepy, bro. <laughs> like creepy. I yeah. I say I say no, sir. No. Nah. Uh, people do customs on these and make them actually look good, but yeah. Um. Oh, look who we got here. It's Vinny. Mm. <laughs> the table. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, 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 Captain Marvel. I noticed she, got no she got no booty. Did I post anything? I don't think I ever posted. Right. Uh, oh, and obviously, I'm sure this, yep, this AD. So posting, he posted his reaction to the Star Wars trailer. So. Oh. For a second, I thought we would get a lightsaber, so I was confused. Oh, but that, a real one. That is that, people. That is it. And also, make sure if you're not a member of the Sanctuary Facebook group, you get on that. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. Matt, have we agreed that we're going to share that blanket? What? Yes. Share uh, what? <laughs> share what? They share. They're sharing blades. <laughs> they contracting everything. contracting blades. He's trying to spread it. He's trying to spread it up north. Mm -hmm. But he has to incubate in warmer climates. I, I have to reach the North Pole to take out all the polar bears, and Canada is in my way. Listen, but, just but do. Jimmy, I, I, want, just, I want you to come here, though. I don't. I don't want to go to you. Like you got like fucking spiders there. Nah, you gotta. You gotta just do like the Simpsons and just bring in a new foreign animal into their environment. Yo. <laughs> bring over like a desert scorpion or something. <laughs> It'd be like, I mean, you in local could. news, all the pigeons have been being attacked by wild scorpions. <laughs> I, I have I have this pet hyena that lives in my backyard. I can bring him. Like, <laughs> I mean, you could, but it gets, it gets pretty cold. It gets pretty cold here. Like, I don't know if they would survive. Look, hyena would survive. All it needs is to get some meat. It'd be like, will yeah. adapt. I named mm -hmm. I named my hyena Matt Jr. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. V says someone asked gonna be hanging out that baby blanket, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mr. 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 V, don't worry, there's room for you under the baby blanket too. Hey, hey. I don't want no part of this baby blanket. I do not mm -hmm. I do not co-sign on this baby blanket. In other news, um, just in case anyone's curious for, um, down the line, but yes, I will again be attending New York Comic Con for this year. I was hesitant to because of how bad it, it was last year, but hey, uh, I'll tolerate it just for you guys, I guess. <laughs> you should you should take some correspondent videos and then air them on the toy show. Uh, My uh, one request would be get into the Funko booth. The, 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 the Funko booth. Um, I can go on Thursdays, so I will see you. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if it's available uh, on a Thursday. <coughs> you gotta get it all, Vinny. We want the figures. We want the Transformers. We want the Funko. We want Trump. the Marvel Legends. We want the Trump. DC. Hey, guys, hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm just one guy. I'm just one guy. <laughs> You're good. Don't you, don't you worry about that. For By the way, uh, Mr. V said that he calls middle because he wants to be warm. He wants you to embrace him. Embrace him? Oh, Mr. Mr. V, you could definitely be the cream 
in the Matt, yo, in the, in why the he Matt, gotta Matt be and Jimmy Oreo cookie? Hey, yo, why he gotta be cream, bro? Why are you trying to hold Mr. V ever so gently? Listen, have you, listen, have you ever had an Oreo cookie? Not like this. So Jimmy and I <laughs> would be, Jimmy and I would be the hard cookie outside, and Mr. V would be like the cream. It's like an mm. Oreo. You don't so, have Oreos in America? Stop being gay, Matt. A. It's, it's, yo. It's, two, it's, it's 2019. Everybody is everything. <laughs> all right, Lauren Hill. Oh, my God. All right, all right. Let, all right let's, let's, let's wrap up this tomfoolery. I, I want to go to bed. Let's, yes, because I have to go to bed, too. So, um... Hey yo, Mr. V. Hey yo. You so hey, hey yo. All Thank right, you once again, this. everybody, for joining us here on Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show. Had a great show. It's the number one show. Thank you once again, everybody in the chat. Again, if you liked it, smash that like. Make sure you subscribe, share with your friends, get the word out about the sanctuary. Join us on Facebook. Be a part of this group. Be one of the many few who can say, hey, I was there in the beginning. Since day one, baby. Day, exactly. I was there on the ground floor. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. But with that being said, I'm going to Leave it for everybody to drop some plugs if you want to plug channel. Now it's time to do so, gentlemen. I am Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny. Um, got, got a bunch of stuff planned, and like I said, uh, and my channel right now is on 2,900 subscribers. That is fantastic. We are so close to hit, hitting 3,000. And like I said, <coughs> it's 5,000 subscribers. I would do another giveaway. So just check out my content if you so wish. Yeah, can't wait to see you if you decide to show up. <laughs> Next. Next. All right, youtube.com slash Mac2 slash. Uh, I don't know. I haven't like I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I'm kind of, I'm kind of taking like a, like a mental health break. He's got, you got you got you got you got you got, you got breaks sometimes, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, but uh, I got I got some I got some fun stuff coming up. So if you want to come check out my channel, then uh, that would be cool. But if not, then I mean, well, listen, I, I can't for I can't force you. Subscribe to this channel. All right, dot com slash Smith Super Awesome Reviews. I am on break right now. I'm taking it easy, and focusing on the clickbait, which, by the way, youtube.com slash clickbait wrestling, the hottest new channel on YouTube for professional wrestling. That's clickbait wrestling on YouTube. And when you're done, you can come check out Smith Super Awesome Reviews for Transformers, Marvel Legends gameplay. Like I said, I'm on break, but I'm coming back. Got some new figures, so subscribe. Thanks. All right, y'all. Uh, check out Phantom XY. Working on some new stuff. Make sure check out the channel. Peace. That was quick. Um, my next video is. Totally not alien or predator. Yeah. Let's Why? Because it's Jimmy Lee, not Jimmy Dean. That's the breath of sausage. But yeah, if you like aliens and predators, you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> but. Thank you again for everybody joining us. As always, you guys in the chat, Mr. V, NG, Chris, 
Marty Mentions, Gojira, Patricia, and anyone else, uh, Transformer Fanboy 14, thank you for joining us tonight. Hope to see you guys again here next week for another great, great show because it's the number one show on YouTube. It's the hottest thing going today. Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show. We will see you cats next week. Peace.